let's unbox these. We've got some documentation. Here's the hub itself. Nothing too much on it, uh, aside from back here. We've got uh, a button, which I assume is power. We've got a Type-C port and an Ethernet port. We've got a Type-A to Type-C cord. We've got a short uh, Ethernet cord. And it's my bonus day. Uh, I got uh, the wrong kind of power supply. I live in the US. We don't have this kind of plug. I've got a couple extra bricks laying around. I'll use those. All right, in the sensor box here, got some documentation again. And uh, here's the sensor. Got two buttons here on the top. This back door uh, flips up and uh, then gives us access to uh, the batteries. And it runs on four double A's and they are included. It's just to hook up this hub. All right, looks like it's booting up. Jump into the app and uh, finish the setup. All right, let's see if we can start this up. Uh, does not seem to be finding the device nearby. So let's come in here and do the smart hub. It needs to be set up over Wi-Fi. And the light is flashing green and amber. Okay, it's found it. So we'll go ahead and select that. And it looks like there's some new firmware. Go ahead and uh, update that. Okay, and that's all up to date. Let's uh, add uh, this device now. So let's go ahead and hit add. You push and hold these two buttons until a little wireless signal icon shows up. There we go. Now it's flashing. Still not found any devices nearby on the phone. So let's come down here to smart sensor and alarm. It's the MS-130 and we're going to connect it to this hub and we'll just say I've already installed it. Light should be flashing. You can see that right there. And look at that. It connected automatically. We'll call this the uh, master bedroom for now. And uh, let's, let's go into this and see what we got. So this is pretty cool. It uh, tells us a variety of information. So it tells us our temperature. It tells us our relative humidity and how it's trending. How is the temperature rising? Is the humidity rising? The luminance, that's kind of cool. Got uh, absolute humidity. And then we've got the dew point, temperature, vapor pressure, and illuminance levels. And then you can see historical information, which we'll look at after it's been up and running for a few days. All right, let's see if we can change a few settings. Let's come here and uh, let's see what the backlight settings are. Oh, cool. So we can uh, adjust uh, the luminance uh, that the backlight is triggered at. Let's set it to level six. Hit next. Now we're supposed to press and hold left and right buttons simultaneously for two seconds until the little wireless icon is solidly on. All right, so let's try that. Okay, and there we go and successful. Temperature unit, press the left and right button simultaneously once and the temperature of the device will switch accordingly. All right, so I want to go to Fahrenheit. So let's try this. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, time format. I like the 12 hour clock, so let's go ahead and do that. And we've got to save it again here. And look at that. We're to the 12 hour time. Nice. You can uh, set up uh, different alerts uh, for different events. For now, I'll just leave the, the low battery notification. That'll be good. We have a way to calibrate this, uh, but obviously you need some kind of calibrated thermometer to do that. Oh, cool. You can export uh, information and clear data. We won't do that. We have automations. So we could set to specific things, probably like if a certain temperature is hit, then turn on a smart plug that would then turn on a fan, you know, something like that. So that's kind of cool. And then we can see the battery level. And that's about uh, the skinny of the app. Oh, one more thing. We can program what the buttons do. So let's see. We'll go to the left button here. Uh, that's fine for now. Hit next. Oh, uh, I don't have any other devices, but uh, I would assume that if you had other devices, you could set it up so that when you push the button, something happens uh, and triggers an event uh, with the other devices. So that's kind of cool. As uh, far as this uh, device itself goes, you can see the luminance level right there. And then here's the humidity level, obviously the temperature, the time, the date, and that we've got a happy smiling face because we're, we must be in the right range. Um, the buttons do absolutely nothing at this point because I do not have other devices to trigger. But uh, in the app, as we just saw, you can program either of these buttons to uh, trigger something to happen in your smart home. And then it does have this little uh, kickstand. And this uh, right here, I've discovered that little slit right there is the luminance sensor. So anyway, let's uh, let this sit uh, for a couple of days and uh, see how it does. I'll be back in a little while to give you my uh, final thoughts and uh, feedback on this. All right, I've had this smart thermometer set up for the last uh, couple of days. And uh, let me just show you the history because that's pretty cool. We'll just hit the history tab. And uh, you can look at it uh, by the day, uh, but my favorite one is monthly. So we've got graphs of the maximum temperature, the minimum temperature, the average temperature, and uh, same thing with the humidity levels. It's all very, very cool. So the history does work and, and works very well. So there's the rundown on this smart temperature sensor and it's accompanying app and hub. It has one job and that is to give you information about uh, your environment. It works really well. I've been really enjoying it so far.
Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I always say that the smartest people are in my comment section. I love hearing from you. I try to read and respond to as many of them as I possibly can. Please consider liking the video and subscribing. Those two things are 100% free to you, but benefit the channel tremendously. We've always got uh, some exciting things on the horizon in the channel, so uh, we'll hopefully catch you on the next one.